Matt, you missed you missed a game. How did it feel? Just I mean, you came back obviously for I think Navy, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So how did it feel just to come back and now that you've got a game under your belt after being out with the ankle injury? How do you feel like you're you're playing now? Now that you're back for two games. Um, I'm feeling good. You know, it took a couple of weeks to heal up on that, and but now it's feeling pretty much back to normal, and you know, I'm feeling a lot better. And it was good Navy to get out there after missing, you know, a couple of weeks with Louisville in the bye week and healing up there and then. Um, and then, you know, getting out there against ECU, too. So, you know, we're back at it and feeling great. Matt, you faced some good teams so far this year, but talk about just the uh, upgrade and challenge uh, this coming Saturday against Cincinnati. Um, you know, we're going to prepare the same way we would prepare for any other team. Um, you know, take it day by day and attack preparation and practice and meetings and all that comes with that on a daily basis. And, you know, I know our coaches will put us in the best position with the plan to uh, – go and execute and go out there and, you know, try to get a win. How would you grade the job Cole Schneider did stepping in for you? He did a great job. You know, Cole's always – he's never really played center in a game, always been at a, you know, guard. But his whole time here, he's spent a lot of time in practice and, you know, offseason, all that snapping and just being prepared to play center because he's been that kind of next man up at the center position for a couple of years now. Uh, but he stepped in and, you know – did exactly how I would expect him to, you know, every play did his thing and it was all good from him. Cole, what is it like to go up against a defense as athletic as Cincinnati, especially when you've got a true freshman back there, meaning are you helping him with protections and calls or is Mikey doing it? You know, there's a little bit of both in that. Mikey's done a great job of recognizing uh, protections and fronts and, you know, when he has to get it right. Um, and, you know, we're just working together. I'm doing everything I can to help him out and give him the easiest time uh, or make his job as easy as I can make it. And, uh, but, you know, whenever he's back there and he's directing protections, we got full trust in him and know that he's doing it right. And, you know, I'm with Mikey. Is there anything different with Mikey back there versus Dylan? And have you noticed a change from your perspective as a center? Um, you know, no, I think Mikey stepped in right away and, you know, had a lot of poise and took command of the offense well and knows what he's doing. Uh, mentally is in it perfectly and um, there was never any drop off in the sense of you know communication or just having that guy you know the quarterback and that voice back there he did a great job of just stepping in and you know taking it on. Hey Matt so um, with Cincinnati they've been a tough you know group up front for a number of years uh, even before you arrived if, uh, you know from talking to some of the other guys but um, you said you were preparing for this game just like you would any other as an opponent, though, what makes Cincinnati unique up front? They're a good team, man. They just, you know, across the board, they got good players on their defensive front, their front seven, and really their defense as a whole. Uh, you know, they execute well. They know their assignments, and they're, you know, they got good players up front. So, you know, go out there, and we're going to try to execute. And like I said, during this week, you know, prepare like we would any other week and go out there and do the same. Week after week, a different guy seems to be going down, and, you know, the Louisville game, several guys. What's the morale on the team when you see your teammates uh, go down to serious injuries? You know, it's always sucks to see your, you know, your teammates, your guys go down with maybe season ending or, you know, bad injuries. Uh, but, you know, across the team, the morale is, is the next guy up. And it sucks, you know. It's, it doesn't feel good when you see your brother get hurt. But also, you know, at the same time, next man comes up and is ready to play. And, you know, we rally behind that guy now. One of those guys you've been out with is, is Isaiah Bowser, but it seems like Johnny Richardson's kind of become an all-purpose back, you know, kind of like what Malzahn has said. But what do you like about Johnny's, you know, his, his style of running? You know, Johnny's he's just so fast, so electric in the backfield. His cuts, his acceleration is, you know, unreal. And uh, like uh, Coach was saying, he has become a lot more of an all-purpose back and where you can, you know, run any play with him, um, you know, especially since he's kind of been pushed into the role he's in now. He's been taking on really well and executing plays real well and, you know, preparing well. Matt, what's it like run blocking for all those good running backs? Because it just seems like you guys thrive on it. It's awesome, man. You know, especially when, you know, you're getting after it on a play, blocking guys up front, your running back, you know, runs through a guy and gains an extra, you know, eight yards, falls forward. You know, that's always a good feeling because we're working together, you know, helping each other. And, you know, that's pro uh, producing for us, for the team. Matt, you guys have been the hunted in recent years. You know, teams have been gunning for you. Does the dynamic change at all, given that Cincinnati's number three in the country and, you know, they've got these lofty national goals this season? You know, I don't think so. I think 
you know, they they got to beat us too. You know, they want to come out and beat us too. So, like I said, you know, they are a good team and they're number three in the country and, you know, they're doing well. But that being said, you know, we're still going to go and try to do the same that we would any other week. How about uh, maybe a lack of road success for you guys so far? Are you confident that you can put 60 minutes together on the road in a tough environment against a great team? Yeah, you know, I don't really think much about the road and the home games and, you know, how that affects everything. You know, you go there, you prepare the same way the day before, the week before, and the day of, and, you know, go out there and play ball, and you know what I mean? Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, guys.